Okay, so what we're doing here in this video is showing you how to configure the uh, text overlay color in uh, MSI Afterburner, which is it's getting a little old. They haven't updated it in a while, but I think a lot of people, most people probably are still using it. So we open our MSI Afterburner. And what you got to do, I thought it was a bunch of other stuff, but for some reason, it's not where I would have thought it was. So what you got to do is you got to go to monitoring. So you go to the settings then you go to monitoring. And in order to change the color, it's this right here. And these correspond to different things. So the majority of the items in it are this system color zero. Now there might be a more advanced in-depth way of doing this. This is the best I have found and no one else has shown me anything. I haven't seen anything that showed any better. So this is the best I've got. So as you can see, system color zero is all of these items. And then um, we've got red and blue. So the other items are Okay, I believe, okay, so this was this. So if we wanted to change, let's say I wanted to uh, color coordinate and I wanted the GPU, because I'm on a NVIDIA GPU, let's say I wanted that to be green. Hit apply. And then we go back to the game. Now, I don't believe there's any way for me to change that, I think. And again, somebody else might have a better, might say, oh, yeah, you can change that individually. But, um, okay, that did give us this, though. So GPU and memory. And this is, this is GPU memory. And then let's say I wanted... So I haven't been able to figure out how to individually change this, though. Only the system color zero. Um... So let's say we wanted to change that system color zero. Uh, I like to use white text for that color, to be honest. I find it stands out fairly well in most cases, so I'll do this. So then, like I said, there didn't seem to be a specific item Okay, maybe it's this. Let's do this first. So we go back. Now all of that's white. Now let's see if there's anything. See, it appears this is one of those cases where some of the items are not clearly labeled and you have to just experiment with what's what. So let's go back and see if there's some random item that's that's one off that's green. I bet you there is. Maybe it's this one. Oh, no. Okay, I bet maybe it's this, because that's the only other thing that says frame rate. Let's see here. Wonder if we go back if it'll be white. Okay, so it did. So it looks like it defaults a certain set of items all to this, and then you have to individually figure out what's what. So now we have that. Then if we wanted all of this to be green. So let's see where else we have random green that kind of corresponds to that. It may have been that one up there. Okay, no, this is all. Okay, so the only thing I can figure is maybe this. Oh, wait, no, that's that.
Okay, I don't know then how to change um, how to change those individual numbers over to uh, the the Nvidia items over to a different color. But this gives you a basic idea of how to do this. It's like I said, it's not where I thought it would have been. So I was a little annoyed at that and there was no good uh, there was no good uh, explanation anywhere that I could find. There was a few Reddit threads that kind of gave me a clue, but um, but I'm gonna leave that as that. Honestly, I want those items as white anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal. But so now we've got so on Cyberpunk, I was doing some testing. So at least now I have all of all of this in white, which again, as you can see here, I like it as an overlay color. Um, I just, I find it stands out fairly well. I've been doing a lot of text in that color too. I just, I like the way it stands out. So anyway, uh, I hope this is interesting and helps some people out if you're looking for this and it's been driving you nuts because it took me a little while to figure it out. I kept, there were some items in the uh, the statistics server that, that you could see. Oh, and actually let's look at that too while we got it open. So let's say you want to change. Uh, let's say you want to change the uh, the size. So you would have to go down. That is actually in Riva Tuner Statistics Service. So that's actually right here. See, I thought it would have been this. I don't even know what this corresponds to. Let's change it to red just to see. But let's make this bigger. And then go back to Cyberpunk. So, as you can see here now, it actually, it's, uh, this is running at 19, 20, 1080 at the moment. I didn't want to have to try to deal with YouTube's delay on 4K uploads uh, for processing. So, here we are. But um, So, that changes the size. And I don't even know what that, that that color corresponds to with statistics server. I thought that would have been the uh, the color. But that appears to correspond to nothing, apparently. So, I guess whatever. Um, but, okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you, I hope you guys find this interesting. And, uh, and I hope this is useful uh, to people that have been pulling their hair out, trying to figure out how to change all of this. So thanks for watching the video.